So I haven't been doing that many videos. I don't want to apologize to you guys. Um, basically just been real busy. I haven't been doing uh, as much uh, fishing as I want to be doing or have been doing. Uh, and also I haven't really done some filming. I've done, I've filmed a couple of uh, pieces. I just haven't put them out yet because I really like my videos to be really good. You know, I want to show the catching portion, get a good amount of footage for that and the cleaning footage and, you know, cooking and eating it. And I really want to do those kind of videos or going out exploring, doing that. I don't want to just, you know, show me, you know, the GoPro on my chest and me filming what I'm doing, you know. I think you guys will get bored and I really like showing the whole process. Um, so I just want to say that before I started this video. Alrighty. So here we have our Yelto and mangrove snapper. I think it's might be one or the other, if not both in there. I'll see. And then here we have our bag of permit. So nice colored fish. And here we have grouper collars. So we really try to use uh, the whole fish. We have the fillets in a different bag over there, which I use in the collars. Um, and we try to make getting the whole body, the cheeks included. And with the body, we make soup with the collars. As you're gonna see today, we're gonna put these on the grill. And the fillets, you could cook it any different way you want, but we try to use all the fish, uh, especially groupers. I mean, they have a ton of meat in them. And you just trim the, the fins back, split it down the middle, which just kind of crack it, just like that. Season it, put it on the grill, super buttery, super good to eat. And I'm uh, just gonna show you what we're gonna do here. And we got, this looks like yellowtail, really good, pretty fillets. We're just gonna get probably three for tonight. It's just gonna be me, my dad, and my brother uh, that I'm cooking for, so not too much. Three fillets, three people, it should be plenty. But you can see we have our yellowtail fillets. I just washed them. My brother already uh, filleted them and took out the pin bones. I'm now gonna take out the bloodlines. This one's not too bad, and neither is this one. I might take off this one. But just gonna knock these out really quick, put them in a pan. So we're just gonna go right here on both sides, cut them out. This is also really good for your fish, or for your dogs, raw. Hunter boy, come here. Get it. Good. So, little trash can right there. But now we have our fillets ready to go. So now we have our fish washed, uh, the bloodlines taken out, there's no bones and ready in the pan. And now we're going to season it and put our ingredients in there. So these are all our ingredients. We have an onion, we have a lemon, we have two limes, uh, some fresh parsley. We have uh, olive oil, some butter, and then our seasonings. We just have salt, pepper, and garlic and parsley. And this can be two parts. We're going to season this, put it in the broiler, and then we're going to make a butter parsley sauce to go over top and with like a little bit of uh, heavy whipping cream and it's just gonna finish it off and it'll be really good. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna get a little bit of olive oil. And if I can do it right, get that. And then we're just gonna add some salt. Some garlic powder and parsley. And then some fresh black pepper. Have the broiler on. We're gonna get this fish. We're gonna put it right in the oven. Let that start cooking. And now we're gonna work on our sides. So we're just gonna knock these out really quickly. And yeah. And this is not speeding up. Parsley, nice and fine. Put more lemon. We sliced our lemons or our limes, and we're just gonna get the juice out of them. Pour it into this. So now we have our lime and lemon juice. I'm saving these for at the end. I can put a little bit of lime, more lemon on it if we need it. So I'll set those aside for now. 
get it, chop it, chop it in half. And then we're going to make rings. Saucepan on medium heat, we're going to add some olive oil. Not that much. We're also going to add a couple tablespoons of butter. About. That's one more. About that much. Once your butter is nice and melted, we're going to go ahead and add our onions right in there. Once your onions are nice and soft like this, you're gonna go ahead and add our parsley. And this is our garlic and also our lemon zest. Go ahead and add that. So you can, once you add that parsley and the garlic, you can really smell how it just smells really good and aromatic. And once that is, you start to see your garlic to brown, go ahead and add your lemon really freshen things up and as soon as that starts to boil just a little bit we're gonna add that on top of the fish and once that is you start to see your garlic to brown go ahead and add your lemon so now we're gonna take the fish out of the oven it's been cooking for a few minutes and it's starting to get a nice crust on it we're now gonna add the sauce Now, that gets put back in the broiler. Those onions are gonna caramelize nicely. The fish is gonna cook all the way through and everything's just gonna come together. So now we have our permit. So my brother says he wants to have fried permit. So we're just gonna do a couple of bites. I say four pieces is enough. And we're just gonna do some fried fish bites. So once you wash them, we're just gonna try to make equal pieces. If you see any seams, cut at them. We want all these fish pieces to be kind of the same size, same thickness, so that uh, they all keep cook evenly and they all take the same time. So now we have all the fish into nice equal sized pieces ready to be battered and fried. So right now I have a, an egg wash with Everglades seasoning and then we have flour and our panko. So we're gonna bread our permit. So we're gonna go egg wash, flour, back into the egg wash and then into the panko. So I'm gonna wrap this up really quick, probably do a little fast row. So now we have our parent uh, floured and breaded in egg wash and that's what it looks like right there So I'm gonna knock all these out really quick nice firm fish And that's what the finished product looks like so right here we have our permit and we have our grouper row Oil is nice and hot drop that right into the fryer Alrighty, so right here we have our grouper collars. Uh, we got three of them already seasoned. We're, we're using today, we have Everglades seasoning, original, chipotle chili, and some ground pepper. So, go in here. We can, uh, big old collars. And we're just gonna season them. Now we got the chipotle chili. And some fresh ground black pepper. And that's how we're gonna do the rest of them and then we're gonna put them on the grill. So we have the grill put up and now we're putting our collars on there. Almost done with the second batch right here. They are looking perfect. Little nuggets of joy. Cooks perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and add our second pieces in. Oh, 
and next comes the row. All right, so right now we have the row going in. So now our fish is done. And you can see how it's got a nice crust on it. Onions are starting to brown. That's ready to go. Now we're gonna wrap some aluminum foil on this, put it on a low temperature, keep it in the oven, keep it warm so it doesn't lose uh, the juices inside. So we're gonna go ahead and check our collars now. And they look fantastic. They've been on here about 20 minutes and they are just perfect. Check that out. So we're gonna go ahead and take these collars off, hopefully without ripping them. These are really big, so it's more than likely gonna rip. They're perfect. That's ready to go. All right, so we just finished cooking right now. We have the collars right here, the grouper collars, and they look amazing. Uh, we had a wood charcoal on them, and they just smell great too. And then here in the center, we have our mangrove snapper and yellowtail snapper that we broiled in an olive oil and butter sauce with onions on top. It's like a garlic parsley. Uh, flavor as well and then here in the end we have our fried hermit and then here in the side not so many people do this but we have our grouper row so we're gonna we have a bunch of sauces here and here that we're gonna put everything together and just feast on it right now